What are you doing? Just, just rob stuff. Do you want to song? Yes, I do. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best songs heard exclusively in teen films. Hey now, hey now, this is what Number 10, I Want What You Have, If I Stay. I wasn't looking for something to sink my teeth into. I didn't know what I wanted, I never do. When Mia and her family get into a car wreck, she ends up in a limbo state with a huge decision weighing on her. Mia has to choose whether to join her family, who all passed in the accident, or stay Earthside with her grandparents and the possibility of pursuing her musical dreams at Juilliard. Are you really playing the guilt card right now? I'll let you pick the music. The film is laced with a plethora of beautiful musical moments, from Adam singing to Mia in the hospital to her Juilliard cello audition. But there was one song from Adam's band that stood out from the rest, and that's their performance of I Want What You Have. Mia can't help but fall in love with him during the performance, and we can hardly blame her. You make it look so good you know what's Number 9. Teenage Suicide. Don't do it. Heathers. Some teeny bopper rag says that uh, they want to play a prom. Now it could be Westerbergs if we get everybody's John Hancock. Before Heathers was turned into a smash musical, it had some on-the-nose songs featured in the original non-musical film. Sung by the fictional band Big Fun, this number speaks to the difficulties of adolescence and the mental health struggles so often experienced by the youth. You're reading the last rites from a credit card, you know my head's too soft and the light's too hard. When Veronica and JD go off on their killing sprees, they try to make their murders look like self-inflicted violence, so this dark, twisted song is a perfect fit for this flick. It also acts as JD's character anthem, especially considering the destructive end he meets. Every little thing, every little thing has a place in the big picture. Number 8, Supernova Girl, Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century. Stop gazing mega fast, you hit me like a cosmic blast, you're giving me a technicolor world. Set 50 years after the movie's release in the year 2049, Xenon Carr takes us on a futuristic journey through her life on a space station. While she tries to take down the space station's commander and save her home, she does so to a seriously catchy soundtrack. A memorable song from the film is Supernova Girl, which pretty much encapsulates who Xenon is as a character. Sung by her favorite pop star, the lovable protozoa from the band Microbe, it's no wonder Xenon is a fan. It's as memorable, fun, and lighthearted as the movie it hails from is, and it's a staple for 90s kids everywhere. Breathing in, you give me air. I'm living up your soul affair. Could you be my supernova girl? Number seven, we are Sex Bomb. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. We are Sex Bomb, and we are here to watch Scott Pilgrim kick you. This film is best remembered as a flashy comic book style mixture of romance and action, but the musical aspects should definitely not be forgotten. This song is heard a few times throughout the movie, including when Scott Pilgrim's band performs it in the opening. Not only is it a fun punk anthem, it's what first makes Knives take to Scott, so it's pretty pivotal all around. Each time Kim or Scott yells, we are sex bomb they often tack on different introductory phrases, which creates some iconic and memorable lines indeed. In terms of the sound itself, there's no argument, it goes hard. Number 6, Nobody Like You, Turning Red. Would it really be a coming of age tale about preteen girls without a dreamy boy band? You want it? I want it! Give me one, two, three, four! 
In Turning Red, Mei Li and her friends are obsessed with the band Four Town, and this song is their big hit. Written by Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connell, the song perfectly serves as a typical boy band hit on the surface, while also mirroring the protagonist's own relationships. You're never not on my mind. Oh, oh my, yeah. oh my, oh, oh my. my. May loves her family and her friend group and finds comfort in them, albeit in different ways when she's going through a difficult time. Those sentiments are summed up in this song, and we're reminded how emotional and isolating it is to be a teenager, but how that can be made easier when you're surrounded by people you love. I never met nobody. Never met, never met, never met. Number 5. Ultimate – Freaky Friday Who didn't want to be a part of this fictional band? Lindsay Lohan stars as Anna Coleman, who plays guitar for her garage rock band Pink Slip. When they get a chance to perform at the House of Blues, the body swap situation she's trapped in with her mother causes some difficulties. It was horrifying. No, no, it's okay, Mom. I unplugged you. Just go back out there and fake it. No, I don't even know how to do that. Come on, Mom. You can't tell me you never went to a rock no. concert. Ultimately, they still manage to bring the house down, and it is awesome. There's another pink slip moment we love even more, though. At the end, when the mother-daughter duo have switched back, Anna and her band perform at her mother's wedding. This time, Anna is on lead guitar and vocals, and she absolutely crushes it with her mom, her new stepdad, and her crush, all cheering her on from the crowd. Number 4. Scotty Doesn't Know – Eurotrip Hey, listen up, everybody. Got a little special thing I'd like to do tonight. We'll play a little song for you. In this teen flick, we see Scott and his friends travel around Europe, encountering some unbelievable scenarios along the way. One of those moments is shown through the song Scotty Doesn't Know. The song is performed by the band Lustra, whose leading man is none other than Matt Damon, king of the unexpected cameos. So don't tell Scotty, Scotty doesn't know, Scotty doesn't know. As he performs, it's revealed that Damon's character is who Scott's girlfriend Fiona is cheating on him with. The lyrics are hilarious, leaving nothing to the imagination which definitely makes for a standout moment. Hey. <laughs> this fan rocks! Yeah! Number 3. Drive It Like You Stole It – Sing Street You just can't stand the way that I walk movie is set to an absolutely dreamy background of Ireland in the 1980s and shows how powerful music can be, especially as an escape from our everyday problems. That's exactly what it's like for Connor, the protagonist of Sing Street, who starts up a band and creates amazing music alongside his classmates. Drive It Like You Stole It feels like it could easily be on the radio today, and definitely in the 80s. Not only is it poppy and a great song to dance to, it's also an excellent bit of songwriting with lyrics that can bring you back to a time when you had your whole life ahead of you. You can go anywhere, you gotta grab the wheel and own it, drive it like you stole it. Number 2. What Dreams Are Made Of the Lizzie McGuire movie. Have you ever seen such a beautiful night? I could almost kiss the stars for shining so bright. Lizzie McGuire is a source of nostalgia for so many of us, and this song is one that we can all still belt out at the top of our lungs without missing a beat. When Lizzie goes on a summer trip to Rome with her classmates, she's shocked to discover she looks exactly like a famous pop star Isabella. When it turns out that Isabella's singing partner Paolo is trying to double-cross her, the two girls take center stage and expose him for the fraud he is. I would never want to Hillary 
Hilary Duff plays both parts, her sister Haley actually provided Isabella's vocals, which is what really brings the duet to life. Here's an early aughts anthem for the teen in all of us. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pretend to be nice. Josie and the Pussycats. You know if I could, I'd do anything for you. Please don't ignore me cause you know I adore you. Based on the Archie Comics characters, Josie and the Pussycats tells the story of the band's rise to fame. This film is fun and quirky on the surface, but it also discusses topics like the influence that teen pop stars can have on their demographic and the importance of creating art on your own terms. countless great hits in this film like Backdoor Lover by the band Du Jour, which is also ridiculously catchy, it's Pretend to be Nice that sticks with us after the credits roll. It addresses the themes in the film, like commercialization and consumerism, in a fun and relatable way. And we've got it playing on repeat in our heads. This is the best CD ever! Yeah! That was some Gatorade! Gatorade is the new Snapple! Which fake teen film song can you not help but sing along to? Let us know in the comments! Stunt here waiting for anyone to take the time To change my mind this time Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.